Oh my god. Hello, Casper. Hello, death, part of one. Hi everyone, I was just packing my makeup kit and I realised I've never actually talked about one of my favourite things, which is this bag. This is the MAC travel bag and I've had it for a couple of years now. Um, I love it. I've only, I'm only packing it for one client just now and I know exactly what she wants so I don't have to take as much but I've actually packed this and took it for a six person bridal party before so it fits a lot of stuff. I've just checked on the website and this is £100 and I think it is well worth it. Obviously if you are a Mac Pro member then you get a discount but I love it and I just thought I'd show you a little bit about the bag because when I got it, I got it when it first came out so there wasn't that much about it online, I don't know if there is now but let me just show you how I pack it and show you inside. So here it back now so it's a little bit heavy. So it has two handles on the top and then it does have a long strap which is so useful because if you have this packed full of stuff especially if you're someone that carries a lot of glass foundation bottles or a lot of stuff you're going to need that long strap. So I'll lay it out on the table and then I'll do some cutaway shots so that you can actually see what's in it because there's no way I can hold this up for the whole video. Let me just show you the outside first. There's a pocket on the front of the bag and on the back there's another pocket but there's also an attachment which means if you have the Zuka, the rolling case, then you can attach this to the top. So I don't have the Zuka because I just don't find that I need it. Um, maybe one day I will invest in it but this has been my best investment to date. And also when I was cleaning this out I just found my sunglasses that I have been missing for about six months. I miss you so much. These are my prescription sunglasses. I'm obsessed with them and I couldn't find them when I was going to Mauritius. I couldn't find them when I was going to Malaga. And now I've just found them in time for going to Prague. So bonus so yeah i don't need the zucca but if you have it then this would be perfect for on top this would probably be good if you are a professional makeup artist and you work on set a lot maybe you could have your zucca and then just have essentials in this so inside the bag there is two sides it opens up lie it flat and there's two sides there is a side with three mesh compartments and there is a side with plastic bags so first of all, all of these bags are removable. There's two longer bags and there's two small bags and all of them are removable. Let me take one out and show you. Here is the size of one of the longer bags and here is one of the smaller bags. So in the first bag, I have some skincare. I just have some primers, some moisturizer, some lip balm, eye cream, just some skincare and obviously this is not full by any means. I have fit a lot more in here but as I said I know who, what my client's skin type is so I don't need all of it. And then in the next one I have foundations. I just have some face and body in here from MAC. I have some Pro Longwear. Uh, some Chanel, some Estee Lauder and again if you line this up right you can have normally I carry face and body and Mac Pro Longwear it's just my personal choice and I can fit a whole row of face and body and a whole row of Pro Longwear on the top here I don't need to carry every single shade because I just mix I just I just jump shades and then I mix through and that's fine for me so you can fit a hell of a lot in here I mean, I've just thrown those in, but you can see how much room there is at the top. And then in one of the smaller ones, these are some lip glosses and liquid lipstick. And I always just keep some chewing gum in here. And then in here, I have concealers. You can see that, again, this is quite empty. You can fit a hell of a lot in here. This is just how I like to keep it, but I'm sure there are a million more ways. And I just love them. I just, I love those bags, I think they're so useful and it really helps keep it all organised, you're not rifling through things. I've tried one of those um, kind of 
I'll put a picture here so you know what I'm talking about, the makeup cases that everyone has, but for me it just didn't keep it as organised. So on the other side there are three mesh compartments and these all have zips. So there's one big compartment and two smaller. In the big compartments I keep palettes so I'll just show you those. On the top I just have two stainless steel palettes and a spatula and you'll see why I need those obviously for foundation but I also have a lipstick palette. So then I have three eyeshadow palettes. These are just basics for me, all MAC eyeshadows so one with more colours. To be honest I'm probably not going to need this but I always like to carry it because I find myself using these shades a lot even if I'm only doing something neutral. And then I have a shimmer palette and a matte palette. These are just ones that I've made up. These are the MAC single palettes with the 15 insert inside. I have tried it without the insert and just it means you can keep more eyeshadows in there but I like it to look organised because I'm crazy. Then I have the Smashbox Full Exposure Palette. I just put this in because I've been using it a lot lately and I think I want to use cool tones tomorrow and I like a lot of the cooler tones that are in here. Then I have a blush palette. This just has a few sort of neutral shades. I kind of use these on everyone. I think this is Peaches, Well Dressed, Melba, Taupe. I can't remember what they are, but anyway, just blush shades. And then on the bottom here, I have one of the MAC Double Palettes. So, whereas you can see through the top of these, you cannot see through the top of this. But this has... You can buy these on Mac Pro, so you buy all the palettes and then you buy the inserts. So this has the 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, the 12 well and the lipstick well. So on this side I've melted down lipsticks. These pop out as well so you could have lipsticks on both sides. And on this side I have some cream products with a couple of spaces left. These are all Bobbi Brown Pot Rouge blush and Chanel Soleil Tan de Chanel in there and some MAC cream blush. I just like to have these and then it means look at all the lipstick choices I have and I still have space. I find I use liquid lipsticks a lot now so but I still like to carry this just to have options. And then in the bottom of that mesh I have a little box which obviously I was feeling organised at the time and I labelled this hygiene and disposables and I can't remember where I got this. I think I might have got it from Hobbycraft. If you're in America I know that Michaels is great for stuff like this. So in here I just have some cotton pads, some disposable wands, cotton buds, a hair tie which I always find is useful, a sharpener and I have lash colours. Um, oh my god what are these called? Eyelash applicators from MAC. I have yet to use these. I will let you know if they're any good. And a little pair of scissors. never going to close again. I just like keeping all that in here because I find it just keeps it all together. So all of this has fit in this one mesh compartment and you can see how much space there is in there. That compartment is humongous. You could fit so much in there. The palettes actually fit next to each other and they stack about four high. That's how much space you have. I'll put them all back in and I'll show you again what that looks like. So that is that with that full now and you can see I've actually still got a little bit of space. I could probably stretch that mesh even more. That's what's great about it being mesh is that you're not sort of restricted to what you can put in it. There really is a lot of space. The other two are a little bit less organised. Not really sure how to organise these but it works for me. So in this compartment I have all powders. This is all powder face products. So I have a couple of, so you can see there's a lot of stuff in here. Again, it's not organised, but because none of these are very small, they're all quite big items, I don't really need them to be organised. So I'll just go through and show you a little bit of what I've got. I've got a couple of bronzers from e.l.f. I actually really like these. Um, they're really quite useful. I bought them just to see what they were like and I've used them quite a lot. 
I have some of the Prep and Prime loose powders from MAC. Always keep these because they just work on everyone. And then I have some of the MAC mineralized skin finishes. Soft and gentle, light scapade. I mean, I didn't mean to show you everything, but it's just happened that way. I have a couple of blushes that I just want to... Maybe if it's a colour I think I might use, I'll throw it in along with the blush palette I showed you. This is MAC Plum Foolery and New Romance. Bronzer. A couple of Estee Lauder blushes. So, as you can see, a hell of a lot fits in there. I probably could have it more organised, but as you can see, there's a lot more space in there. You could fit a lot more. If you wanted to put palettes in there, they do fit. I just like to keep all my palettes in the one section. Then in the next, I generally keep this for pencils and eye products. I do have a little bottle of brush cleaner in here. So you can see that that is, again, quite a lot of stuff in there. No real kind of rhyme or reason. I have a lot of mascaras. I just keep them in the box until I start using them. I always have like a lot of mascara still in the box. I have some eyeliners. This is the Clinique eyeliner and the MAC. And then I have pencils and I generally just put these together with an elastic band. So these are all MAC lip liners. And then the same thing for the eye pencils. There was a glitter explosion in here. So now I'm covered in glitter and you know, I'm sure you all know that if glitter spills then it's going to be about 10 years before you get rid of that. So I've just accepted it. So that is it. That's pretty much everything that is in my kit. And then I will either put my brushes in the front pocket or put them into a brush belt and put the brush belt in the front pocket. There is also a detachable, you can see this zip part here on the bag. There is a detachable sort of middle section that goes in there and you can put your brushes in there. I'll try and insert a picture of what that looks like but I'm not sure what it is because I took it off a long time ago. It was just getting in my way. I thought it was going to be good but I thought I was going to like it but it just ended up getting in my way. So I find that this is better for me having that off because I can just unzip it, lie it down, everything's in front of me and it also works really well if you've not got a lot of space. You know, if you go to do someone's makeup and you don't have a lot of like a table to lie everything out on then this works really well because you can just work from the bag. So I hope that was helpful, hope you enjoyed it. If you've got any questions about this bag or you want to know anything that I've not covered, I didn't really plan this video out so I'm sure that I've missed some things. I just was packing it and I thought I would show you because I am absolutely in love with this bag and it was a really good investment. I think it's well worth the money as well. So I hope that was helpful and I will see you again soon. Thanks for watching. Bye.